Welcome back, dear listeners, to another enlightening episode of our philosophical exploration. Today, we dive into the paradoxical nature of ignorance. Could there be strength in the heart of not knowing? When is knowledge power, and when might it be an illusion? Join me as we uncover the hidden wisdom within the shadows of our own understanding. Let's begin with an ancient Greek thinker, Socrates, who boldly claimed that he knew nothing. This wasn't an admission of his lack of education. Instead, Socrates was pointing out the wisdom in recognizing the limits of human understanding. A similar sentiment is echoed in the Eastern world, especially within Buddhism. Here. Ignorance isn't merely the absence of knowledge, but a fundamental misunderstanding of the nature of reality, acting as a barrier to true enlightenment. Buddhists believe that one can overcome ignorance by internalizing two core truths: interdependence and impermanence. Consider a garden ecosystem for a moment. The soil nourishes the plants. The plants feed the insects. The insects pollinate the flowers, and the cycle continues. Each element is dependent on the others, creating a balanced and harmonious system. This is interdependence in action. The realization that everything is interconnected, existing not as isolated entities but as part of a unified system. And for impermanence, imagine watching a blossoming flower. Over time, it blooms, withers, and eventually returns to the soil. This is the nature of all things: changing, evolving, and never static. By recognizing and accepting this, we release our grip on fixed ideas and attachments, shedding layers of ignorance that could cloud. Our perception. These Buddhist teachings, illustrated through the imagery of a garden, invite us to challenge our existing beliefs, urging us to reconsider what we think we know and to recognize the vast expanse of what we might not. But our journey into ignorance doesn't stop here. Across time, various thinkers and cultures have grappled with this concept. Each offering a unique perspective. Some view ignorance as a void, a space needing to be filled. For others, it is a starting point, a spark igniting curiosity, wonder, and boundless creativity. Join me as we weave through these diverse viewpoints, discovering that sometimes the most profound wisdom. Emerges from the shadows of the unknown. Science, often seen as the pursuit of knowledge. Is paradoxically rooted in ignorance. Rather than a hindrance, the acknowledgement of not knowing becomes the very fuel that drives discovery and innovation. Let's dig into this seemingly counterintuitive idea. Think of Isaac Newton, as he pondered the mysterious force that caused an apple to fall. It was his ignorance about gravity. That led him to create the groundbreaking laws of motion. But let's move beyond conventional thinking. What if ignorance itself is not just the absence of knowledge, but a vital space where creativity and imagination thrive? What if ignorance is not a void, but a fertile ground for innovation? Consider the famous physicist Richard Feynman. He once remarked that it is essential to embrace uncertainty and doubt, to submerge in ambiguity, 
for it is in these spaces that new ideas are born. In science, the willingness to question established truths has led to some of the most significant breakthroughs. Take the case of Barry Marshall, who challenged the medical community's understanding of stomach ulcers. He hypothesized that bacteria caused ulcers, not stress or spicy foods, as was widely believed. Faced with skepticism, Marshall did something extraordinary and controversial. He ingested the bacteria himself to prove his point. This experiment was published in 1985 in the Medical Journal of Australia, and it is among the most cited articles from the journal. His willingness to investigate his ignorance through self-experimentation to challenge accepted knowledge ultimately revolutionized the treatment of stomach ulcers. Barry Marshall and Robin Warren, his longtime collaborator, were co-awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 2005 for their discovery of the bacterium Helicobacter pylori and its role in gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. Now, think about the ongoing exploration of dark matter. Despite comprising over a quarter of the universe's mass energy content, it remains elusive, beyond our comprehension. But it is precisely this ignorance that propels scientists forward, sparking curiosity, driving innovation, and opening up new frontiers of understanding. You see, the biggest machine ever built by humanity the Large Hadron Collider, is a testament that by embracing our ignorance in the nature of reality and with tireless resolve to gain knowledge of the truth, we can foster global cooperation at the highest level. And the result? The confirmation of the Higgs boson in 2012, the final missing part of the standard model of particle physics our current most accurate description of reality so far. And you know, as of the date of this recording, we are at the cusp of discovering the fifth force of nature. The Fermi lab in the US has been doing muon G-2 experiments for some years now, and it appears that they are having a breakthrough. Now I know, enough of my nerdy moments. Let's reflect on a more unusual perspective. What if ignorance is not something to overcome, but a state to be cultivated? What if the pursuit of knowledge sometimes blinds us to the profound beauty of uncertainty? Consider the Zen notion of beginner's mind. This is a state of openness, eagerness, and a lack of preconceptions much like the mind of a child. In this state, ignorance is not an obstacle, but an invitation to see the world anew, to approach problems with fresh eyes, and to unleash the power of creativity. So, my dear listeners, I challenge you to embrace the unknown, to celebrate ignorance, not as a weakness, but as a strength, for it is in the spaces between knowing and not knowing that our most profound discoveries await. Thank you for tuning in to the IceGrad podcast. After the break, we will explore the other side of ignorance, the darker side. My dear listeners, when we think about ignorance, there is this other side, darker side, that we need to discuss. Willful ignorance and cognitive bias. This phenomenon is not about the healthy curiosity or the conscious acknowledgement of the unknown we discussed earlier. Instead, it is about deliberate blindness, selective perception, and in some cases, self-deception. Consider for a moment, 
the news feed on your social media platform. Algorithms are designed to show you content that aligns with your existing beliefs and preferences. This creates an echo chamber where contrasting viewpoints are filtered out, leading to what is often termed as confirmation bias. This bias doesn't just affect our political or social views, it shapes our perception of reality itself. We cling to information that supports our preconceived notions and ignore what contradicts them. We become prisoners of our own minds, trapped in a cycle of self-reinforcement. But why do we engage in this form of willful ignorance? What drives us to filter our reality so selectively? The answer lies in the complexity of human psychology. Cognitive biases are not merely errors in judgment. They are rooted in our need for consistency, comfort, and control. Admitting that we might be wrong, or even that there might be multiple valid perspectives, can be unsettling. It threatens our sense of self, our worldview. Take the Dunning-Kruger effect, for example. A cognitive bias where people with low ability or knowledge in a subject overestimate their expertise. This isn't just arrogance. It is a self-protective mechanism. By believing we know more than we do, we shield ourselves from the discomfort of uncertainty. Now, bring in the age of information overload where we are bombarded with data, opinions, news, and ads every moment of our waking lives, the sheer volume of information available makes selective ignorance not just a psychological tendency, but almost a necessity. In a world flooded with information, we often choose what to see and what to ignore based on what is familiar, what is comfortable, and what is aligned with our existing beliefs. It is not just ignorance, it is a form of self-preservation. But at what cost? This willful ignorance can lead to polarization, mistrust, and a breakdown in dialogue and empathy. It can fuel misconceptions, stereotypes, and prejudices. But all is not lost. Awareness of these biases, understanding why we fall into these patterns, can be the first step towards breaking free. By actively seeking diverse perspectives, engaging in genuine dialogue, and embracing the discomfort of not knowing, we can transcend the limitations of our own minds. Let's reflect on the dual nature of ignorance. It can be a source of curiosity and discovery, but it can also be a trap, a filter that narrows our vision. The choice of which nature to follow lies with us. Thank you for being here on the I Squared podcast. Up next, we will explore practical ways to embrace healthy ignorance to open our minds, and to foster a culture of curiosity and critical thinking. My dear listeners, As we consider the societal impact of ignorance, it is important to recognize that ignorance isn't always a personal failing or a mere lack of knowledge. Sometimes it is systemic, structured, and even weaponized. Let's begin with an unusual perspective. Could ignorance be an essential element of a functioning society? Consider the vast array of subjects, cultures, and information available to us. 
it is impossible for any individual to be fully informed about everything. In fact, a society where everyone claims to know everything might be unworkable, stagnant, and devoid of the dynamism that comes from uncertainty and the quest for knowledge. Now, think about the political landscape. Ignorance isn't merely about uninformed voters. It is often about manipulation, misinformation, and a deliberate suppression of fact. It is about power structures that cultivate ignorance to maintain control. Controversial, isn't it? But the reality is, the architecture of ignorance is often more sophisticated and strategic than we may think. Media literacy plays a crucial role here. In an age where billionaires own all the traditional media outlets controlling every narrative, fake news can spread like wildfire. The ability to critically evaluate information is more than a skill, it is a societal necessity. And yet, our education systems often lack in educating individuals in these tools, in this neglect, or is it a subtle form of control? This leads us to another point of view that's really hard to even contemplate for most people. The importance of recognizing our own ignorance. Admitting I don't know is seen as a weakness in many cultures. But what if this admission is a strength? What if, by acknowledging our limitations, we open the door to collaborations, empathy, and genuine growth? Education must evolve to reflect this. It is not just about filling minds with facts, but fostering a culture that values questions as much as answers, that sees ignorance not as a failure, but as an opportunity. But education isn't just confined to schools and universities. It is a lifelong journey. We must continuously challenge ourselves, our beliefs, and our biases. We must actively seek out those who disagree with us, engage with them, and learn from them. It is uncomfortable. It is difficult. But it's also the path to growth. And here is our one final twist. Could our very focus on ignorance be a form of ignorance itself? Are we ignoring the complex interplay of knowledge, wisdom, emotion, and intuition that constitutes human intelligence? Is our fixation on what we don't know blinding us to what we do know and can achieve? My dear listeners, as we wrap up this segment, let's consider these questions. Ignorance is not just a lack of knowledge. It is a complex, multifaceted phenomenon that shapes our society, politics, and personal lives in ways we may not even realize. Up next, we will look at practical strategies to overcome ignorance and foster a culture of curiosity, empathy, and critical thinking. When we think about wisdom, what often comes to mind is knowledge, experience, and insight. But what if true wisdom is actually found in admitting what we don't know? It is a provocative idea, isn't it? But let's dive into it. The virtue of humility in acknowledging ignorance is deeply rooted in many philosophical traditions especially in Buddhism. Here, the concepts of interdependence and impermanence are not just abstract ideas, 
They are profound truths that can help us see past the illusions of ignorance. Consider interdependence. Nothing exists independently. Everything is interconnected. So, when we claim to know something with absolute certainty, are we ignoring the complexity of its connections with everything else? Are we falling into a trap of oversimplification? Think about words in language. A word is an invention, one of the most powerful inventions of humanity. A word has the power to encompass the entire universe, but at the same time, it can never truly describe anything in its reality entirely, because a word is only a representation of a fragment of reality based on our human intuition and human perspective. Now, reflect on impermanence. Everything changes, and nothing lasts forever. If this is true, then how can we ever claim to fully know something that is constantly evolving? Perhaps admitting that we don't know is the only honest response to a world that is forever in flux. But here is my challenge for you: Could our emphasis on humility and the acknowledgement of ignorance be an excuse for complacency? Can we fall into the trap of using "I don't know" as a way to evade responsibility or avoid taking a stand? It is a fine line, and one that requires careful navigation. Recognizing our limitations should not paralyze us, but empower us. It invites us to ask questions, to seek understanding, and to approach the world with an open, inquisitive mindset. So, how can we cultivate this mindset? Start by embracing uncertainty as a source of potential, not fear. Engage with differing opinions, not as threats, but as opportunities to learn. Challenge yourself to admit when you are wrong, and see it not as a failure, but a step towards truth. These practices may be uncomfortable, but they are vital for growth. They also align with Eastern philosophies that guide us to see beyond the superficial and transient nature of things, helping us navigate the complex realities of our lives. My dear listeners, remember that admitting ignorance isn't about defeat or lack of intelligence; it is about wisdom, courage, and the never-ending pursuit of understanding. It is about embracing the paradox that the more we know, the more we realize how much we don't know. That is not a weakness; it is the essence of wisdom. And here we are, at the end of an episode that I hope has both enlightened and perplexed you. Ignorance isn't just a simple lack of knowledge; it is a complex, multifaceted phenomenon that shapes our lives in truly unexpected ways, from the driving force behind scientific discovery to the dangerous lure of willful ignorance. We have explored how not knowing influences our thinking, our society, and our pursuit of wisdom. We have even challenged the notion that admitting ignorance might be an excuse for complacency, an idea that may provoke disagreement. So, what about you, my dear listeners? Have you ever considered how your own ignorance shapes your worldview? Do you dare to admit what you don't know, or do you hide behind a facade of certainty? These are not easy questions, 
but they are supremely essential. I want to challenge you to reflect on your own relationship with ignorance. Talk to friends and family about it. Share your thoughts in our comment section or on social media. Engage with others and explore this topic further. This is not just about listening; it is about participating, questioning, and growing. And if this episode has sparked curiosity, don't stop here. Subscribe to our channel, share it with others, and join us in our quest to uncover the unexpected truths about ourselves and the world around us. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge begins with the acknowledgement of ignorance, but that's not a stopping point. It is a starting point. It is the beginning of a journey that never truly ends. Thank you for joining me on this thought-provoking exploration. This has been an episode to remember. Until next time, stay curious, stay engaged, and never stop questioning. This is your host Jimmy Love signing off. May your days be filled with happiness and wonders, and may you dance in the symphony of impermanence.